in Joey's case, Joey is a kid who thinks that things that are folded are amazing. So for him, when he sees the origami, that's like the epitome of folding, right? Is to take folding and, and make it into something that didn't exist before. Why other kids like origami? Maybe it's just that it's something everybody can do. It's a step-by-step -step kind of thing that you make this fold and then you make this fold. And some of the origami forms are really, really hard, but everybody can do something with origami and everybody can say, hey, I took this plain piece of paper and now look at what it is. Um, and I think too, there are certain arts like drawing and painting and what we think of as fine art that it's very hard for children who don't have great motor skills yet. But with origami, even a kid with just basic motor skills who can manipulate a piece of paper, they're gonna be able to make something really cool and fun. If you have a little kid and they're trying to draw something, they can draw it and then they look at it and say, that looks nothing like what I thought I was trying to draw in my mind's eye. But if they're making origami and they're following instructions, it's gonna come out pretty much the way they wanted it to come out. And maybe it's not perfect, but at least they can look at it and say, yes, that's a boat. I was trying to make a boat. And it's, I think it's rewarding in that way. I think too that the origami, it's, it's broken down into simple instructions. And some of the moves are hard, but at least you know, I'm gonna fold this corner over to this corner. And whereas if you're gonna draw if you were going to draw a crane instead of making an origami crane, how long exactly do you make the neck? And how do you curve this line? It's a lot more esoteric. Whereas with the origami, there are instructions that you know, if you do what these instructions say, you're going to get what you, what you wanted. I didn't practice origami getting ready for the book. I knew about the origami crane because my kids had folded origami in school. The art teacher at their school is really into folded paper. So she taught the kids how to make the cranes. And so I knew that it existed. And I think my son had shown me once how they were made. So I knew they were incredibly intricate and difficult. So when I went to write the book, I just thought, well, this is the hardest shape that I know. So I'm gonna go with this. It's a shape that a lot of people are familiar with because of the origami crane and how it's sometimes used as a symbol of peace and hope. Um, so I figured it would be something people were familiar with, but I knew it was really, really hard because my son had tried to get me to fold one once and that is not easy. I am absolutely not an origami master at all. The origami crane that Joey makes in this book, I cannot make at all. My son, who is 12, can make the origami crane and many other origami shapes, but I rely on him. Uh, when we go somewhere and people wanna fold origami, I do something really simple. And then I say, if you would like to fold an origami crane, go with my son. He is great at folding origami cranes. Uh, he has made an origami crane out of a napkin. I wasn't sure that it was possible, and when I wrote it in the book, I was a little nervous that maybe I had introduced something that really couldn't be done, because for origami, you want a really crisp piece of paper. But one day we were sitting in a restaurant and we were waiting for our food to come, and he said, I'm gonna see if I can make the crane out of this napkin. And he did, and it even worked. Like, the wings would even go a little bit. So now I'm afraid that uh, they say you should write what you know, but in this case, I only know the origami through my children who really enjoy it. Well, in the book, we included instructions to make a ladybug, which is very simple. So I like because it's really easy. And then you can decorate it and make it look fancier if you want. But one shape that I've learned, because now that I've written this book, um, I'm sort of expected to do some origami when I go out with the book. And right now, my favorite shape to make is a frog that actually jumps. And it's really fun to do because it's pretty simple and you don't have to have it perfect for it to work and when you get done you have like a toy and they jump differently some of them jump far some of them do flips um, just depending on where you put the particular fold that's my favorite <laughs>